it's not easy to find, I guess, is it? No, people are sold out. I went to three stores yesterday, and Lowe's, Home Depot, and Walmart, all in my area of town, they are sold out. Wow. Speaking of the solar eclipse, uh, for three days now, the computer models have been showing a potential for poor cloud cover conditions in both Denver and Casper. This morning, it's still showing potential for cloud cover in Casper, but Denver now shows good. This is something that's going to change quite a bit as we get to Monday, as these models try and figure out the cloud cover extent right around the time of peak eclipse, which is just before noon local time. Temperatures this morning in the 50s along and east of I-25. Bailey, 50, 56 in Akron, 52 in Lyman, 34 in Leadville, 47 in Aspen, 64 in Grand Junction. Coolest point of the day is right before sunrise. That's about 613 this morning. So these temperatures will probably drop a few more degrees before they rebound this afternoon. Big storm system in Minnesota with a cold front all the way down through Dallas. That is what brought us the cool air yesterday. The western part of the country is fairly quiet outside of a couple of areas of disturbed air. One of those areas of disturbed air is sitting over southeastern Colorado this morning. Doppler 4000 showing some thunderstorms down there. These are not severe, but they are putting out quite a bit of lightning to the east of Colorado Springs and the northwest of Lamar, so a little bumpy if you're down in that part of the state. It should come to an end by 9 o'clock this morning. Here's future cast, so storms pull away. A mostly sunny uh, period for this day for the state. And then as we get past the noon hour, we'll start to see daytime heating kick in, uh, firing up some scattered showers and thunderstorms. These will be widely scattered. They won't last long, uh, but they'll be out there. And one or two could get a little bit strong once they tap into more moisture over here on the eastern plains of Colorado. Highs today, much warmer than yesterday. We'll tack on about 10 degrees or so getting into the 80s to near 90 for areas along and east of I-25. 70s, very pleasant in the mountains if you're heading up that way. 80s to near 90 on the western slope. Joel, the five-day forecast. Well, it finally looks like Denver, Colorado in the middle of August, right? The last few days have just been crazy with temperature swings, but we're going to have a stretch here flirting near normal with just that daily chance for a storm. I